Mr. Kraft, Mr. Robert Kraft. You know you done fucked up, don't you? You know you done fucked up, don't you? Mr. Kraft, say it ain't so. How can you go from being, you know, one of the most notable owners in regards to winning Super Bowls to getting caught up in a prostitution sting? You know, I don't think it's coincidental, brother. I really don't think it's coincidental. You know, because, uh, you know, you was, you was turning up that Super Bowl weekend, man. You was turning up. You know you was turning up. You got on stage with Cardi B, hanging and kicking it with Meek Mills and them. You know, but then when I saw the situation on ESPN, it was breaking news. Breaking news that Robert Kraft, the owner of the Super Bowl champion, five-time Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots, got caught up. Uh, for soliciting prostitution in Jupiter, Florida. And I was thinking, I was like, man, I know this ain't the first time you've bought some pussy. Yeah, I, I know that. I know it's not the first time that you've done that. But why this year at this time did they decide to blow the whistle? Now, you're an elitist, and I'm, and I'm talking to you directly. I know you probably won't see this video, but this is my personal Opinion like everybody got an opinion like everybody got you know what's so this is just my personal opinion You know, I don't I don't look at it for what it is I, I look beyond the surface because you know, it, it, they don't really give you You know, the they, they they give you an illusion. So they said it was a sting and That this sting has been going on for a month and that's pretty much, you know, getting ready for the Super Bowl time so why all of a sudden this year, a 77 year old man probably been tricking forever. And I mean forever. Get caught up this time, this year. And I'm saying, OK, man, they trying to, um, you know, talking about toxic masculinity. And we're going to talk about that down the road. Um, you got the Me Too and Time's Up going on and. All of this stuff that's going on, but wait a minute, man. You know, I know you got all the money in the world, but money can't buy you love, but you got caught up soliciting prostitution. And they saying they got you on tape. Yeah. They saying they got you on tape. I don't know why I feel like, you know, Red talking to talking to Craig. Yeah, they they got the tape. I mean, we was rewinding it and shit. <laughs> but man, I'm I'm not I'm not laughing at your folly. I just want to bring to the attention of the climate that we are today. Now, facts. This is facts right here. Robert Kraft was meeting and met up with Jay Z, Meek Mill, and he's in support of the prison reform. So you know he's he's kind of commingling with the jigs, and the leaders don't like that. You know, that's more of a Southern mentality, you know, like that's that, you know, the Southern mentality. When you're a Northerner in, industrialist, you know, you don't really hang out with the help and you don't really hang out with the, the players and do all that pandering. See, like Jerry Jones is in the South, you know, so he he, he don't get out there and, and pander and, and dance and all of that stuff. But, you know, he's notable. But a lot of time these elitists, you don't know who they are. I mean, you kind of, you know, stepping out with the politics and somehow meeting with Jay-Z and these are facts you guys can look it up meeting with Jay-Z meet Mill about prison reform and then Super Bowl weekend man I think I think you turned up too much you know they ain't like that you know they they did not like that they saw you out there jumping on the stage with Cardi B you know rocking a black hoodie you know saying black skinny jeans you know rocking your black Ray-Bans pointing acting like you you know like you one of the bros so they basically saying man we're gonna have to drop a dime on that Somebody blew the whistle, man. They know you be down there doing your thing, man. Ain't nobody. This, 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 this just did not just happen. This ain't your first time ever, you know. But see, that secret society thing is real. And when you, you know, you're protected when you're behind the scenes. But when you come out and you know start showing, you know, hey, that you know you're pandering to a different culture, meaning you're going to help them elevate to rise up. They will castrate any savior in the black community. That's why black men like myself have to stand up because we're not saviors. We just, you know, living in the atmosphere. We're telling the truth. It's a revolutionary, you know, with social media and, you know, things that's, you know, um, the information superhighway. We're privy to all the information that we we in the knowledge that we, you know, want to know or find out or learn or research. 
but they don't they don't like you know when old white men you know hook up with black men in all the money that you got because they basically think like what if you give them you know 10 million and start a 10 million dollar club and start a black banking system you know why is he trying to help them first is getting them out of jail then it's going to be helping them from a social and economic perspective you know it, it's 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 it, it just that just how the game go so you was a sacrificial lamb bro they blew the whistle so now i know any elitist white person on this planet you know that has resources they ain't gonna holler at us they ain't talking to none of y'all because see what happens this is robert Kraft, man one of the most powerful men in the national football league and an elitist and his name is robert Kraft, meaning he's the heiress to the Kraft family you know the ketchup the the mustard you know what i'm saying and they have the the best relish i ever had you know i got a little bottle in the refrigerator but man at the end of the day man bro, you got caught up man so no no i mean i, I know you're going to get through this you know i know it's not a big deal but the nfl you know you look at espn they talk about that they hold the managers from a moral perspective more uh accountable than the players so you know we got to see how it pans out but i just wanted to give my two cents on because i think it's a little bit more than him just soliciting a prostitute or going to the massage parlor and getting him some because i'm sure he'd be going there for years and by him hollering at jay-z uh, Meek Mills and supporting prison reform, jumping on the stage with Cardi B, kicking with the bros, probably smoked some that weekend. But you turn up too much, bruh. But at the end of the day, it ain't no white savior in the black community. We're going to have to do it. One black man at a time. With that being said, hey, man, all power to all people. Give me a call, Spike Lee. I see you, boy. Good looking. Peace out. Till next time. Mr. Kraft. Hey, man. I don't know, man.